in America we have the right to discipline our children, but in America we do not have the right to try to discipline our wives, or our girlfriends, or if you're on the other side of the coin, or a different coin, your guy friends. But what I can tell you is that abusive people remain abusive. Children who have been abused become abusive. The only question is when, where, and how. In my experience of growing up in an abused home, I can tell you that I had to take a heck of a lot of work on myself to ensure that I didn't become abusive. I'm not saying that I never disciplined my son, but I'm also saying that I learned early on the mistakes that a man makes when he lashes out in rage. The truth is that people make impressions, and the impressions we make on people last a lifetime. I know the challenges of my family, and I know the mistakes that I've made. But what about you? What challenges of your family do you have, and what mistakes did you make in interactions with people? But if you can't tolerate your own self, if you can't view your own accountabilities, if you can't control your own mouth, Michael, then maybe you don't belong here. Whatever I channel is what the Lord wants people to hear, and whoever listens is of the one who lends their ear. But let me tell you, motherfucker, if you slap my wife's face again, I promise you that regardless of whether I'm a priest or pagan, God is going to take you. You see, it only takes one person to taint an employee set. It only takes one person to interfere with a coupleship. It only takes one person to ruin a church, a synagogue, a temple, or anything like that. One person full of themselves, one person full of vanity, one person full of vice, one person full of device, one person full of vandalism, which is what people think they're doing when they piss all over a homeless man. But one point of violence is that soul that cannot tolerate any other person but their own beliefs. And one person of arrogance is one person of stupidity who thinks they have the right to threaten police. The liars behind him will most likely make the call, but what they forget most of all is that they are liable. They are liable for their choices, they are legally liable, they are financially liable, and they are lethally liable when you interfere with someone like me. It's not a threat, it's a promise. That at some point the racist in you is going to bite you in the ass. And at some point the supremacist that's growing in me is going to lose some class. But the reality of your life is that you made a choice to play. You made a choice to come that day, and you made a choice not to stay. You failed yourself, and you failed God, because you heard the Lord saying, go talk to him. You heard the Lord say, go walk with him. You heard the Lord say, this is the right thing for your life, and your family, and your children, and your boys, and your mom, and everything about you is needed in him. But what you didn't think about is what Jesus Christ thought of you today. What you didn't think about is what God believes of you today. And what you didn't think about is how your behavior represents your own mom, your own dad, regardless of how fucking old you are. So people can piss all over me with the same concepts that I preach and teach, but the reality is I'm not the one who's losing my speech. You're the one who can't function correctly walking down a street. You're the one who doesn't know how to be neighborly without being a, uh, indiscreet. And you're the one who can't put together a sentence or two without sounding like you're Fonzie or age two. In life, the minute these women who walk down the street who are participating in cybercrime show up, something always goes haywire in someone else's equipment, which means they just don't get their life. You see, you don't cause other people strife. You don't enter their home, you don't steal from them, you don't abuse them, you don't get away with it, and motherfucker, you won't get away with it before God. So while you think you're haughty, and you think you're being naughty, and you think you're doing something to teach me a lesson, I promise you, you're not teaching anything to God about me. The one thing I've learned as a pagan, and which I've become a pagan because of how Christians have abused me, lied about me, mistreated me, and fucked me over in every area of adult life, is that I don't have to tolerate them. I might have to contact them to say, where the fuck are my clothes? I might have to say to them, don't you fucking sell my books and resources that don't belong to you, motherfucking bitch. 
but I can say it any way I want to, and I don't have to be kind about it because you've commandeered them, you're trying to blackmail me with them, and you're trying to piss all over my life here. I came to start over, and all I have found is the ugliness of America in this town, the sin of Jesus all over town. The illness of COVID, not all over town, but interfering with human life here. Jesus walked through different temples. He went through different synagogues, but he most definitely went through brothels and other places of illness. Mental illness is prevalent in retail employees, but mental illness is not a part of my life in any way. So don't you fucking play at me, you little motherfucker who I retail employee, and act like your company's okay with you. At all times, you are the representative of your publicly traded company, and at all times, you are representative of that national presence that you've never met, probably because your mouth interferes with your rights to become more. But promise you, leave your fucking attitude at your home door, and go out into the world and make as half as much in the world's accomplished as I've made. But nothing makes me more ill than an employee or a child in a complete, total program that learned how to learn languages from me. But they can't possibly offer my business any regard. And that's on them, not on me. In America, we have rights to be ourselves. In America, we have a right to sit on a sidewalk. In America, we have a right to seek shelter. In America, we have a right to not be harassed. 